and control. The lunacy. The madness in it. You are telling them. Please stop walking with this gun. You are still too young. That alone can cause them to run away. Can cause them to run away. Can cause them to run away. Ran away. Yes, I'll find you what you're okay. So mad and complicated to be corrected. The lunacy of sin. The madness that comes with sin. So we have so far realized that lunacy is an insaneness and Madness. And then we will say it. If therefore we are going to say that it is called lunacy of sin then we can therefore say the madness of sin. And we can therefore say that describes the character of this young man. That he was so mad covered by sin that he was unable to listen to the instructions of his parents. So, so far, so good. That far. Is that right? I want us to go to the next thing. If lunacy is madness, what then is the definition of sin? Because we have said lunacy of sin. And we have found out that lunacy is madness. Then what then is the definition of sin? Beloved people, sin a estrangement from God estrangement going astray estrangement from, from God or separated from God or isolated from God the definition of sin separated from God isolated that's why you see when the young man enters sin then the first thing that according to this scripture here when you listen to him carefully he is running away the first thing from the parent he cannot therefore withstand the presence of the father so the first thing that sin does in the life of a young man is to say separate them from their parents. Who in this case is God. Number two. The second definition of sin. The mark of Cain. Sin is also known as the mark of Cain. All of you know that when Adam and his wife had gone down in that church garden men altar garden men altar when Adam and his wife fell the first person that implemented the judgment of God is Cain a young man in the house. A young man in the family of Adam and his wife. So sin became the mark of Cain. In the book of Genesis. I'm beginning now. Chapter 4 verse 1. And I'm reading very fast because that's not my aim. This is just to uh, 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 at least build it up for you. Adam made love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. Verse 6. 
mstari wa sita. That the Lord said to Cain. Kisha Bwana akamwambia Kaini. Why are you angry? Kwa nini umekasirika? Why is your face downcast? Ni kwa nini uso wako unao uhuzuni? If you do what is right. Ukifanya lililo sawa. Will you not be be accepted? Je, hautakubalika? But if you do not do what is right. Lakini usipofanya lililo sawa. Sin is crouching at your door. Dhambi inakuvizia mlangoni. It desires to have you. Inakutamani wewe. But you must master it. Lakini ya kupasa uishinde. And then Kisha Cain did not master sin. Kaini hakushinda dhambi. Three things that the Lord raised in that scripture. Mama tatu ambayo Bwana alikuweza katika ndiko hilo. Number 1. Ya kwanza. The anger of Cain. Ile hasira ya Kaini. Number 2. Ya pili. The downcastedness of Cain. Kule kushushwa moyo kwa Kaini. And number 3. Na ya tatu. That he was supposed to master sin and he failed. Kwamba alipaswa kushinda dhambi lakini alishindwa. So Cain became the first human being. Kwa hivyo Kaini akafanyika mtu wa kwanza. To be overcome by sin. Alishindwa na dhambi. And he went in the history of the Bible as the first murderer. Na akaenda katika historia ya Biblia kama muuaji wa kwanza. The first man to kill a human being. Mtu wa kwanza kumuua mwanadamu mwenzake. His name is Cain. Jina lake Kaini. He's the first man to kill. Ni mtu wa kwanza kuua. And kill the brother. Na kuua ndugu yake. So death entered the earth. Kwa hivyo kifo kaingia duniani. After the the, the, the curse of God. Baada ya laana ya Mungu. Death entered the earth by the implementation of Cain. Kifo kingia duniani kwa kupitia Kaini. He said, Akasema, Why are you angry? Kwa nini umekasirika? Why do you appear before the Lord with a downcasted face? Mbona wajiwasilisha mbele ya Bwana na uso uliojaa wa huzuni? And then, Kisha, control sin only to bring you down. Kwa dhambi inataka kukuweka chini. Now, hivyo. Look at me everyone. Nitazame sasa. That is the first role, the first phase of introduction that I wanted to do to you. Basi huo ndio uso wa kwanza utaanguliza ambao nilipenda kufanya kwa ajili yenu. What was I into, I mean uh, explaining to you? Je, nilikuwa naelezea nini? The meaning of lunacy. Ule kuelewa uenda wazimu. And the danger of sin. Na hatari ya dhambi. What I've done to you? Je, nilikuwa nimefanya? I have first begun by explaining and uh, um, explaining the meaning of lunacy. Nimeanza kuelezea maana ya uenda wazimu. In sinness and madness. Kutokuwa timamu na uenda wazimu. And now you see. Na sasa mwaona. We brought it down and wanted to to define sin. Tulivunja vunja tunataka kuelezea dhambi. And we say it is the only thing that separates you from God. Na tukasema dhambi peke yake ndio kitu ambacho kinakutenga na Mungu wako. Just look at me you are going to write a lot. Nitasema tutaandika sana. Listen beloved people. Sikiza watu wapendwa. The only thing that separates you from God. Kitu peke yake kinakutenga na Mungu. And then na kisha we took one study case. Tukatazama swala moja. We took a study case in the Bible. Tukatazama swala katika Biblia. And we decided to study the first born son tukaamua kumtazama yule mwana wa kwanza of the first man of the earth wa mwanadamu wa kwanza duniani his name is is kain jina lake kaini and we realized tukagundua when he did not understand the madness of sin wakati hakuelewa wenda wazimu wa dhambi what sin can do to him ambacho kitu dhambi inaweza kumfanyia he found himself to be the first murderer on the earth akajipata kuwa muuaji wa kwanza duniani so that was just to introduce to you hiyo kwetu kwatangulizieni the danger of this madness Hatari ya wenda wazimu huu. Now I'm coming back to Luke 15. Narudi Luka 15. Remember? Kumbuka. My aim lengo langu is pursuit for freedom. Ni kutafuta uhuru. That's my aim. Hilo ndilo lengo langu. Pursuing freedom. Kutafuta uhuru. Running for freedom. Kukimbilia uhuru. Looking for freedom Ukitafuta. inside the church. Kutafuta uhuru ndani ya kanisa. The rulership of church. Ule uongozi wa kanisa. Looking for freedom. Kutafuta uhuru away from the control of god kutokana na kuelekezwa na mungu they want to run away from the control of god nataka kutoroka kuelekezwa na mungu that's where my aim is hapo ndipo lengo langu lilipo beloved people watu wapendwa i began by asking you nikaanza kwa kuuliza what caused this young boy to do those three things je nini kilimsukuma mtu huyu mchanga kufanya hayo mambo matatu my answer is jambo langu ni lunacy uende wazimu That's my answer. Hilo ndilo jibu langu. What caused the young man? Nini kilimsukuma huyu mtu mchanga? To hit the family that raised him. Kumchukia familia iliyomlea. The family that worked so hard. Familia iliyofanya kazi sana. I talk to mothers. Na na nana na kina mama. And sometimes it is so sad. Na wakati mwingine yahuzunisha sana. When a young man grows, wakati mtu anapokuwa sasa, they are born wamezaliwa before they are born kabla wazaliwe 9 months inside miezi mitisa ndani ya tumbo and the mother cannot sleep na mama hawezi kulala 
issues of vomiting doing what all those things mara tapike nini nini mambo hayo yote running all over doing what visiting clinics and problems huku kwenda clinic mashida matatizo and then the day of birth kisha siku ya kuzaliwa this lady is pained like nothing bwana mke huyu anakuwa na utungu kama nini and then give, give birth to a young lady or a young girl a young man kisha na mdogo kijana mdogo and then the next set of problems begin alafu pia matatizo yanaanza sick every time crying the whole night people Ugonjwa cannot sleep in the house ugonjwa kila mara na leo siku mzima watu hawalali nyumbani crying doing what Analia. breaking things akivunja vitu then grows to a certain level sana huko kwa kitu kiwango kifulani they are now they are now crawling sasa wametambaa breaking things wakivunja vitu band with everything wanachomwa na vitu everything kila kitu then they rise basi wanaamka they begin to walk wanaanza kutembea then go to class 1 wakienda darasa la kwanza then still at the masses of the parents katika huruma za mzazi then class 2 class 3 dasa pili la tatu and then at certain age there katika umri fulani hapo then they begin to feel wanaanza kujihisi that now their parents should not come close sasa mzazi usinisongee now they are above the parents sasa mimi juu ya mzazi and then when the cases comes to me cases zikinijia mimi now they don't want to listen to their parents hawataki kusikiza wazazi wengine uh, wanataka kupiga mama wanataka kupiga mzazi wao you, ch- you can them they st- you can have you ever cried and then they don't cry unawaadhibu hata wali You are kidding you have killed your best. Umepiga viboko jinsi uwezavyo. Umechapa bako kupiga teke. Umepiga bako kupiga teke. Umetoa belt umechapa alafu unachapa yeye anakuangalia. Anakuangalia tu. I love you. You say I'll kill you. Itakuwa. Then he's walking. Anatembea jinsi hivyo. Was you a baby? Alikuwa mtoto wako. You carried in your own womb. Ukabeba kwa utumbo wako wa uzazi mwenyewe. And so much. Ukalinda sana. But now standing against you. Lakini sasa amesimama dhidi yako. And telling you mami. Akikwambia mami. Stop it. Wacha. Unapiga kelele stop it. Piga kelele sana. You are too much. Wewe umejaa sana. I know you are too much. Najua uko na mambo mengi sana. I know. Najua. Must you be must be follow my phone every time. Lazima ufuatilie ufuatilie simu yangu kila wakati. Must you check my phone every time. Lazima ongelee simu yangu kila wakati. Must you follow my end my friends want to know everybody. Utakuja every kila friend mtu. Utakuja kila rafiki yangu nini. Must I submit to you? Lazima nijitishe kwako. Mimi Mami, I'm old now. Mimi nimekuwa mzee sasa. Hey, now you are old. Sasa wewe ni mzee. And you're just a young baby who are being carried in the womb recently here. Umekuwa tu mtu mdogo mdogo hivi juzi juzi. That's what I'm addressing here. Hilo ndio ambalo nachugulikia mara hapa. What really changes? Nini kwa kika kinabadilika? What cause you people to change? Nini kinawafanya enyi watu mbadilike? What happens? Nini What normally happens? Nini hufanyika haswa? I have young baby babies in the house. I have five. Niko na watoto nyumbani kule nyumbani kuna watoto watano. The first born now is in class from two. Wa kwanza kwa katika darasa cha pili. The day that they will try to stand against me. Siku ambayo rajaribu kuniasi. They will know that I know karate. Watajua kama najua karate. Because if you are above kiboko then we go we go physical. Kama na kama umeshinda kiboko basi tunapigana na kiasi. If I remove belt and then I see I na kuchapa na uli. Then I have press ups. Now that to press ups like this say okay. You have become a man then let us do it. Umekuwa mwanume saa tatu pigane. What do you think cost it? Basi ufikia nini kilisababisha? I've told you two things. Number one is Ya kwanza ni Number one is Say louder. Sema kwa sauti. Lunacy. Uwenda wazimu. The madness in your heart that can cause you stand against your own parent. Uwenda wazimu moyoni mwako na kusababisha usimame dhidi ya mzazi wako mwenyewe. The madness in your heart that can cause you stand against the pastors in church. Uwenda wazimu moyoni mwako wa kusukuma usimame dhidi ya wachungaji kanisani. That type of madness cannot be explained. Uwana aina hii uwenda wazimu haiwezi kuelezewa. The madness that cause you think wana ndima mimi nafanya fikirie that the church is too tight. Kwa sababu kanisa imekaza sana. The pastors are too rough. Wachungaji ni wakali sana. Too tight. Ni wakaze sana. You want freedom a bit. Unataka uhuru kiasi. You want to come to church the time you want. Utakuja kanisani saa ambayo unataka. That type of madness. Aina hiyo ya uwenda wazimu. Is what I'm addressing here. Ndio hapo nashughulikia mara hapa. When you want freedom, ukitaka uhuru, you don't want to be under anybody's leadership. Hautaki kuwa chini ya uongozi ya mtu yoyote yule. The type of madness that has caused you not to join WhatsApp groups. Huyo aina hiyo ya wazimu ambaye imekuzia kujiunga na vikundi vya WhatsApp vya kanisa. That madness. Huo ndio wazimu. This what I'm addressing now. Ndio nashughulikia leo hii. Eh. Ndivyo. That madness. Huo ndio wazimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ai. He gathered everything. Alikusanya kila kitu. 
and ran away from the people. He said to his father, yake, Give me all that belongs to me. I want to go. I need to leave now. This home is too tight. I want to leave. Because the father is saying, My son, Mwanangu. You cannot watch those programs. He said that the, that's the problem with this house. What is the problem with this house? We gani? cannot be free. Uh, even if you, you, it were too much, your salvation is too much. I don't want your children stuck here. I will not join your child because of too much rules. My daughter, we are the members of repentance and holiness. It is when you go to church behave like this. You say, Mami, Mami, if that is it, I'm not going to church. Now they are strong. Now they can talk back. Madness in the head. When I see so many mad people in front of me today, So mad people, you are all mad. I see. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sold everything. He sold. And addressed the family. Look, 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 look at me, everybody. Look at what he did. After selling, no, no, the father gave him that plot. In the next, the next morning, you are seeing some people with big uh, stomachs. We yes, <laughs> I'll tell you. We, and with with some canvas, they, they are measuring they, they are, this guy is selling this thing. He's selling it. And a user. And then after selling it kuyuza, in the evening, Gioni, he called a meeting. He called the father and the mother and the children. And he said, I want to he want he want to give a, a press release. You want to address the family. You know what is pushing him? Wallet. The wallet is strong. Now he cannot stay at home. How do you stay at home with money? And you know why many people have problems? It's because of what their money gave them. They got money. They bought a phone. Now that phone is taking them to hell direct. Now they cannot obey any human being. They have another teacher called the phone. Guiding them and teaching them on anything that they need. They don't listen to the book of Proverbs anymore. Say, My son, listen to me. They're now listening to the phone. That's what they are doing. That's what is happening in the youth church. When they sit like this, the service is going on, but they are chatting. And you know they are chatting with somebody in another altar. They are in church. But start chatting with another person, maybe even outside the nation. He called a press conference. And the entire family came. And at that hour, his cup is facing back. He wants to release a press conference. He wants to do what? To release to release. Want to release it. Kofia is facing back. And the ear is pierced. And the hair is fried. And the trouser is hanging here. With a big shoe untied. He want to go. That's how he want to go. He want to go with his cup facing back. His hair is fried. And with things on his ears. With a trouser. And a t-shirt. Written. All eyes on me. His teachers. 
maneno yake his teachers walimu wake is not the father or the mother sio baba wala mama they are learning from bahati wanasoma kutoka bahati and vera sidika kutoka bahati na vera sidika those are the new teachers in the house hao ndio walimu wapya nyumbani they have become social media generation wamekuwa ile kizazi cha mtandao they are too new and too young to learn from the parents ni wapya sana ni wachanga sana kujifunza kutoka kwa wazazi parents are too old wazazi ni wazee sana they want to go wanataka kwenda at that time they don't want the church wakati wataki kanisa they want to be musicians wanataka kuwa waimbaji and footballers na wacheza mpira and if you look at their body ukitazama mili yao there is a tattoo kuna mchoro wa tatu they want to go wanataka kwenda they want to be free from the rulership of god wanataka kuwa huru kutoka katika uongozi wa Mungu freedom from the church uhuru kutoka kwa kanisa he want to leave anataka kutoka addressing the father and say daddy akembe bana sema daddy thank you asante keep it up uyeke hivyo endelea hivyo you really tried ulijaribu nani you really tried ulijaribu thank you for the school fees asante kwa karo ya shule i will never forget you sitawaisa hao you want to do what anataka kwenda he want to leave he is now addressing the family sasa anaongea na familia yake calling mommy and say mom akiambia mommy mom i will never forget sweet meals that you gave us sitasahau vitu vyote vitamu ulivyoku niendalia those were very sweet meals mom yalikuwa vitu vyote vitamu sana keep it up endelea vivyo and telling the young boy akiambia kijana mdogo his brother or mother or, or, or sister ndugu yake ama dada yake I see you. Na kuona. You are growing well. Unakuwa vyema. Learn from me. Jifunze kutoka kwangu. Learn from who? Jifunze kutoka kwa nani? And then he leaves. Kisha naondoka. When he leaves. Anapoondoka. His intention ni ya yake. Is to go as far as possible ni kuenda mbali iwezekanavyo the bible say biblia yasema he went to a far country akaenda nchi ya mbali he did not want near hakutaka karibu so the first question is so la kwanza ni why did he not want near mbona hakutaka karibu because he did not want anywhere he can still be under control hakutaka popote ambapo anaweza kuwa bado uko chini ya mamlaka he did not want anywhere that he can be still reached and corrected hakutaka pale ambapo atafikiwa arekebishwe he want freedom anataka uhuru fa mbali there is money kuna pesa fa mbali away from the control of the house mbali na mamlaka ya nyumbani He is looking for the following three things. Anatazama vitu hivi vitatu. Anazitafuta. Anatafuta mambo haya matatu. If you are writing. Ukiandika. Why was the young man jumping out of the fence and going far? Mbona mno huyu kidogo alikuwa anatuka kutoka kwa fence akienda mbali? Why would a youth like you? Mbona kijana kama wewe refuse to submit to the rulership set in church? Ukatai kujitisha kwa wale viongozi walioko kanisani. Why? Kwa nini? because of the following three things kwa sababu mambo haya matatu number 1 ya kwanza he was looking for independence alitafuta uhuru kusimama mwenyewe uhuru ya kujitawala uhuru wa kujitawala the youth church that we are raising now vijana ambao tunawalea sasa in the altars katika madhibau they want independence wanataka kujitawala in church katika kanisa They don't want to be under anybody. Hawataki kuwa chini ya mtu yeyote yule. He said he want far. Alisema anataka mbali. If there was a choice, kama ulikuwa na chaguo, and he was given maybe to choose. Angepewa chaguo kati yao. Near and far. Mbali na karibu. He chose far. Alichagua mbali. And why? Kwa nini? We say tulisema because he is looking for independence. Kwa sababu anatafuta kujitawala mwenyewe. He want to declare his own independence. Anataka kutangaza kujitawala mwenyewe. Number 2. Ya pili. Freedom. Uhuru. He is looking for freedom inside the church. Anatafuta uhuru ndani ya kanisa. I don't like um Bishop Magati is too tight. Simpendi askofu Magati ni mkali sana. and freedom na uhuru 
has misled many. The desire for freedom. Free from control. The church that nobody asks you any question. You live as you want. You do as you want. You come to church at the hour you want. And live when you want. Freedom in church. And we'll explain both all of them. Beloved people. Number three. He was looking for autonomy. Autonomy. In church. Because we have all agreed. According to Dolly Ketkarani. That this young man. These are two churches. And this father is Jehovah. And this home must be church. Or the Lord's house. How then is it possible? How can it be possible? That he can look for these three things. It is because of the madness of sin. The control of sin. That's the reason. The desire Tamanio. for freedom that you sin minus questions. The desire to be alone and far. And live a, a, a high alone. Hey. Hey. If you read the book, and I'm not reading it, I'm just giving it right down. The no. book of Deuteronomy 23, um, chapter 30, verse 19. He says, Anasema, Today I have set before you life and death. And then, Kisha, he gives them a link. 